friends welcome back to code tonight so uh, this video will be interesting because we will be talking about a uh, free tool that you can use to scan your code for your code quality and the bugs in your code which can cause to security issues so uh, we will be looking at the free uh, code scanning tool okay so we will go to the extensions and go to manage extensions and now one thing you have to remember is this tutorial will work with the community version of visual studio and with the professional version you will see the extension and you may be able to download this but you can face some error while using that so uh, i will not recommend you to use it with the professional version of visual studio so uh, right now uh, i am using the community version 2022 okay so that i am using so you have to go to manage extensions and you have to select the online here and then you can search for snick okay so uh, you will be able to see that in the visual studio marketplace so we will search again okay so this is the security tool which i am talking about so this is the snick security code and open source so now you have to download this and it will ask you to close the visual studio so we will close the visual studio here and then what it will do is it will uh, install it will start installing that extension into your visual studio so this will take some seconds and then it will complete the installation at that moment you have to close all the running um, instances of the visual studio because it requires them to close while installing the extension so guys this uh, um, tool is really good in uh, fetching the bugs with your like uh, code usages okay so it will tell you about where is uh, improvement you can do okay so it will take few seconds in installing this so you can see that modifications have complete and this has been installed so we will close this and now we will again start our um, visual studio okay so after that guys you can um, go to extensions and you will see this uh, snick option here okay and so in the settings you see that here we have option connect visual studio to snick okay so this you have to click and because um, if you are a new user so it will open up um, a window in the browser um, where you have to uh, create your uh, 
uh, sneak account so basically you have to log in with your google account or something and uh, once you log in with your google account then it will return back to here uh, with the token because i have already used this too so i have uh, account already there okay so but in your case uh, you have to sign in with the uh, uh, google account um, or a github account for using this okay so once you will do that you will be able to see on the token option here okay and you just have to click on okay okay guys so now if you go to sneak you will see the scan option here you can click on the scan so it will ask you that if we can trust the folder where it, the code is available so you can click on that okay guys so now it will start scanning the tool now guys one thing you have to remember is the code security and code quality options are disabled by default into sneak so for that what you have to do is you have to log in with the same account which you used for a sneak login okay and into the settings option you can go to sneak code and this option will be disabled by default you see here this option so this option will be disabled by default so you have to enable this and save the changes so after that if you will go to your visual studio you will see these two options enabled okay so guys this is not a big project this is just some sample code i added for the demo that it is able to find the issues with this okay so once i scanned uh, so it found these issues and it tells you like uh, how many high level issues and the low level issues are there and once you click on that it will also explain uh, the cause of the issue so it actually takes us to the line where the issue is so here you can see that it says unsanitized input from http parameter which is going into the create directory so this may result in path traversal issue okay so that is the issue it found okay so if you go and look the code so i am using a parameter from the action and i am passing that directly into the um directory creation okay so that issue it found that it might have some kind of data um, which can be inputted by the um, hacker or someone like to um, um, use it in a wrong way okay so that issue it found so similarly it found few more issues so this uh, scans for your code like for the available issues and once you f think you have fixed the issue then you can uh, again scan the code by clicking this icon and it will again count the issues which it found so if the count is reducing then you can think that the issues are getting resolved okay so like uh, i will show you example here so the issue in the 15th line is this one okay so this is basically a path traversal issue okay now by that what it means is so basically uh, as per this tool what it thinks is uh, any user which want to like uh, use it in a wrong way uh, they can so like for example if you talk about a path so example is if we have so if we have like uh, this path so if any user adds uh, a dot dot in the front then it will change the location of that directly so because that will be changing the route where you are finding that directly okay so that it takes as a issue so what you have to do is you have to uh, replace so uh, we will replace that dot dot with uh, the blank here so the idea is if uh, anyone tries to enter dot dot here to traverse across different directories then uh, we will remove that part okay so now if we go to sneak and we scan the code again so uh, it still shows self 7 here but what you have to do is you have to clean there clean the issues and then you have to rescan the solution 
so because sometimes it doesn't refresh properly so you have to often scan uh, you have to clean it first and then scan again so now you see it has shown six over there because we have fixed the one here okay so this is how it works like how it scans the issues and how you can fix the issues so it will be telling you different kind of issues so that is really helpful so guys you can use this for testing your code and let us know how it works for you and if you like the video then you can comment on the video and don't forget to subscribe the channel so thanks for watching guys